hey, if you're looking to start a boutique and you need to understand where you might locate the business, what kind of space you need, maybe what kind of foot traffic you might expect for a particular location and how that compares to your competitors, what kind of foot traffic they're getting to their stores and also on their website, what kind of traffic are they getting to on their website, what kind of keywords are they ranking for and what could you compete for. All of these things are important parts of market research as you're thinking about starting a boutique business. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through some different tools and tips to show you how to do your own market research. Some of these tools are free, some have a free trial and are paid tools, and then some are premium tools that you'd have to pay for if you wanted access to them. I'm going to walk you through how we produce these market research reports for our clients as an example to hopefully help you understand what would make a good market research and competitor analysis for your boutique business. Before I dive into the report here, just a little bit of background. My name is Adam Huxima. I'm the co-founder of Projection Hub. And we help clients create financial projections when they're trying to get a loan from a bank or raise capital from investors. And so one of the things that we often have to do in our financial projections is build in an assumption about how much traffic can I expect to my website? How much traffic can I expect to my physical retail store? Because that is a huge assumption that determines your potential revenue and ultimately profitability, right? And so we felt like so many of our clients really needed help doing this market research that we kind of decided to build some market research report tools for our clients. So again, like I said, a lot of this is stuff that you can do on your own, but I'm going to walk you through our kind of standard report in case you'd like to see what you would get if you were to have us do this for you. So, all right, with that, let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so I just have our boutique market research report pulled up here as an example, and we start out by doing some keyword research. In this example, we're saying we're going to open a boutique in Indianapolis, and we want to know how many people are searching for keywords related to Indianapolis boutique. And so using the Google Keyword Planner tool, we found that on average, there's 590 monthly searches. You can see a bit of a graph here that shows some seasonality in that search volume. You can also see here the cost to advertise for that keyword. So cost 62 cents per click on the low end and up to $2.14 per click on the high end in terms of advertising costs on Google. You can see here we pulled a list of all the top keywords for boutiques in Indianapolis. And so you can kind of see the average monthly searches, how those keyword phrases are changing over time in terms of their search volume. And then you can also get an idea of how competitive those keywords would be to compete for. So if you were trying to ranked for best boutiques in Indianapolis, you can see that has 30 monthly searches and it's a medium competition, right? Okay, so then we also look at how your market and the demand in your market changes based on seasonality. And so we use Google Trends. This is another free tool and we look for search volume for boutiques near me. So this would be people going to Google and saying boutiques near me. And this is throughout the United States. So we get kind of a countrywide view here of the search trends. And what we see is that January is consistently the lowest in search volume with the summer tending to be the highest point in the season. We also, of course, see the big drop here in 2020 as well. So the next thing we're going to look at is we have a target location. So we're looking at this particular location and we want to determine some or estimate some foot traffic to this location. However, the location that we're looking at has been empty for some period of time. And so if we look at our foot traffic data, it's not going to have any foot traffic for the last little while because it hasn't been open as a retail store. And so what we're going to do instead is we're going to look at a nearby address to determine how much foot traffic the strip mall next door is getting to give us some sense of how much traffic we could get to our boutique. So here's on the map, here's the strip mall, and then here's our little proposed building. This is the building we want to locate in, but we don't have really great foot traffic data again for this location because it's been empty. But this strip mall here has been active, and so we can estimate foot traffic there using our partner at Advan Research, and they're able to estimate that that strip mall has an estimated 11,000 visitors per month. You can see the last 12 months of foot traffic to the strip mall there and some changes compared to the prior year. So we can also do this with a competitor analysis. So if you're trying to figure out how much traffic your boutique might get, knowing how much traffic the strip mall next door is getting could be helpful, but it's not probably directly related to your traffic as much as maybe a competitor's foot traffic might be. So we could do a search on your competitor. And so in this example, we're going to look at Lark and Lily Boutique and they're a key competitor and they are a couple of things we can get from our partner at Advan Research. We can estimate how much square footage they're renting, which is kind of helpful for you to understand how much square footage you might need. So we're saying they're at renting about 1400 square feet. 
and they're getting about 237 visits a month. And you can see the trend, the monthly visit trend here on this graph. Then we can also use a tool called Ahrefs. So that's A-H-R-E-F-S dot com, Ahrefs. And this would let you look up top ranking keywords for that particular business. So you want to see that competitor, what are they ranking for? What keywords are they ranking for? How much traffic are they getting? And whether that looks like it's a keyword we could go after and compete against, that's what you'll be able to see with this data. All right, so one other bit of information that we can get, we can get a customer heat map. So we can put an address in for your competitor, and then they can provide these heat maps that will tell you where the customers are coming from. So this is some really powerful data. So you can get an understanding of, okay, maybe here's where my competitor is. This yellow highlight is where I'm going to locate. And maybe I could get some of this traffic over here because I'll be closer to them. So you can get that kind of sense of where to locate, what areas might make sense based on customers. Finally, you look at some demographic data for the location that you're looking at. You know, this is other useful information that I think you can pull. This is free census.gov data that you would be able to pull different reports as well. Uh, I think that's important as you think about what target market customer persona are you targeting and whether those customers actually live in the area you're planning to locate. And finally, in this example report, we provide some detailed month traffic numbers for the last really as far back as we have the data. So this is dating back to 2016. So you get all of that data as well as all of the keyword data we can find here. So that's the report. Again, I think a lot of this could be really helpful for you as you're researching your competitors where you might want to locate how much traffic they're getting. And when you know how much traffic their website's getting and their physical location is getting, and you can then layer in some things like average order value, you can start to piece together what reasonable financial projections would look like. So I hope that's been a helpful part of your business planning process and how you think about that. Again, you can do this research on your own. If you'd like us to do this for you, we do have this market research report service offering. And so we'll put a link to that down in the description of the video below, as well as a link to a form where you can fill out the form to get a discount code on that service. So we'd be happy to provide that as a thank you for watching to the end of this video and sticking with us. If you have any questions at all, reach out to us at support at projectionhub.com or leave us a comment in the comment section of the video below. Thanks.